Are you looking for a great pasta dish that you can make ahead, freeze, and take out of the freezer and eat whenever you want it? I know you were thinking to yourself, yes, Sarah, how did you know? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm making chicken sausage, spinach, and fontina baked pasta. The recipe makes two baking dishes so you can eat one tonight and one at some future date. Start off by dicing one medium red onion. Dicey dice, push that out of the way. Mince four cloves of garlic. The after effects of that onion are making my eyes sting. I feel like I have to acknowledge that because I don't want you guys cutting onions and feeling like it never happens to Sarah. I don't know why it's happening to me. It does happen to me. It may seem like a lot of onions and garlic, but you're making enough sauce for two baked pasta dishes. One for today, one for some lucky night in the future. Heat a large skillet over medium high and add a tablespoon of olive oil. And then saute your onions and your garlic until the onions are translucent. That should take about five minutes. pound of rigatoni or other large pasta like that, salted boiling water. This needs to cook for about 12 minutes. When your onions are translucent, add a half a teaspoon of dry oregano and a 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes in their juice. You can cut them up with some scissors or squish them up with your hands, whatever you want. And if you like not a chunky sauce, like I kind of like a smooth sauce, you can just puree the tomatoes completely. Once this comes to a simmer, you want to cook it for about 15 minutes, just until it sort of cooks down and gets kind of thick. Do you see how much this has reduced down? Yum, it looks fantastic. Probably want to taste it and season it. Mmm, a little salt. I didn't season before. Could have seasoned before too. Pepper. But I forgot. That's right, I forgot, sorry. Don't point fingers. Then add half a cup of heavy cream. This makes a delicious sauce. I suppose that you could skip it if you wanted to, but treat yourself. Stir it in. Then you get a yummy, creamy. Heat it through. Now your sauce is done. You wanna add 10 ounces of baby spinach to your cooking pasta right before it's almost done. So if it's 12 minutes, add it at 11 minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> Seems like a lot, but we've discussed this at length. It's gonna shrink like crazy. Give it a stir, just so that all of the spinach gets sort of wilty for a sec, and then you can drain your pasta immediately. All right. Everything's gonna get mixed together in your pot, so let the excess liquid drain out of the pasta. You don't want too much of that. And then put it back into the pot that you cooked it in. Then add your sauce to your pasta and spinach, and then add 12 ounces of already cooked chicken sausage, 12 ounces cut up into pieces, and four ounces of cubed fontina. The cubed fontina will melt into the pasta dish and sort of hold everything together. Stir it around. That looks good already. I mean, I would eat this right away, but it's a baked pasta, so I'm gonna transfer it to two eight by eight baking dishes. Maybe use a spoon to scoop it. Divide the pasta mixture evenly between two eight inch square baking dishes. Fontina is a great cheese because it's super melty and fantastic. That's why it's so great in these baked dishes. It's even better than mozzarella, I think. But if you can't find Fontina, which some people cannot, or you don't like it, you should definitely use mozzarella as a substitute. I have half a cup of grated fontina and a quarter cup of grated parm. Divide half a cup of grated fontina between the two dishes and then a quarter cup of parm. If you're gonna make one tonight and freeze one for later, let it cool to room temp. That should take about an hour and a half from frozen and then uncover it and sprinkle it with the cheese and put it back in the oven until the cheese is bubbling about 20 minutes more. If you're not freezing it, put it into a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes until the cheese is melted and everything is nice and bubbly. Oh, so amazing. What beautiful colors, hearty, 
fragrant. If you have one of these in your freezer, you always have something on hand to feed anyone who stops by. Once you take your first bite, you're gonna be so happy that you made two of these and one of them is in your freezer waiting for the next time you need dinner. A really good, really cozy, really family friendly. You're gonna love it. Who could say no to baked pasta? Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.